Today we're addressing a question sent in to us. Will we ever see a GSA at a Catholic school? Good question. Like some other questions that I receive, this one can be answered very simply, but I suspect the person who asked it is looking for something a bit more nuanced, because to understand the issue adequately does require a bit more information. To answer the question simply, you won't see a GSA named that way in a Catholic school. However, the issue is not as simple as that. The Alberta Education Act addressed the issue of students being bullied because of perceived issues of sexual identity and orientation. This legislation put in place practices meant to create and maintain safe and caring places for students who are dealing with their sexual identity and orientation. One of the strategies was to allow and promote student support groups. As young people try to understand themselves and their identity during the turbulent teen years, they need peer supports to assure them that they are accepted and loved for who they are. Hopefully, they are also getting support and encouragement from their families as well. This covers more dimensions of their development than only sexuality, body image, race, language, culture, academic performance, social anxiety. Sexuality is a particularly contentious subject in our times, and there is much debate about the Church's teachings on the subject of human sexuality. The Church has always taught that the sexual act is to be between a man and a woman within the context of a committed marriage and is open to the creation of new life. This is the purpose for which God has given us the gift of human sexuality, to share and grow in the bonds of family life and to bring new life into the world. At the same time, the Church has a role to play in offering support in truth and charity to those who are struggling in the areas of sexuality and gender identity. We live today in a very secular culture where people are surrounded by many opposing views, influences and temptations. It is important to help our young people who grow up in this culture by meeting them where they're at understanding where they're coming from and the crosses they uniquely have to bear. They are at a unique time in their life when they most struggle to discover who they are, while at the same time feeling confident that they will be accepted and loved for who they are. This is why peer groups are so important, not only for this sense of acceptance, but it is important that there are groups that can help guide young people in the direction of truth, holiness, and where happiness in this life can truly be found. In adopting the Alberta Education Act, the Council of Catholic School Superintendents of Alberta, the CCSSA, has put in place what is called the Life Framework. This is a Catholic response to the call for student peer groups in Catholic schools. LIFE here is the acronym for Living Inclusion Faithfully for Everyone. This framework applies to all Catholic schools in Alberta. Some of the features of LIFE framework groups are the student can approach the principal of the school and ask for a peer support group. The principal will discuss the goals and aims of such groups. They will arrive at an appropriate name for the group. The principal will assign a trained teacher to guide the group. Uh, this person will attend all of the group's meetings, assuring that prayer is included in each meeting and that Catholic teachings on the question at hand are presented and understood by the student participants. Another counselor or chaplain may also co-facilitate. All parents are made aware that such student peer groups uh, meet at their school. The meetings are confidential so that the personal issues of students are respected and respectful. In 2018, the bishops of Alberta had drew up an additional resource for life framework groups called the Pastoral Guidelines for the Life Framework. This pastoral guide provides some practical guidance on prayer resources and conflict resolution. Let me quote from the CCSSA's descriptive document on the life framework, where it says in the opening line, and I quote, Catholic schools share a foundational belief that all children are loved by God, are individually unique, and that the school has a mission to help each student to fulfill their God-given potential in all aspects of their person, 
physically, academically, socially, morally, and spiritually. End of quote. If you find, wish to find out more about these peer support groups in Catholic schools, you may want to read the CCSSA's document online at the web address on your screen. Thanks for joining me for this video. Until next time.